This round of Libyan peace talks resumed Friday in Morocco with UN officials hoping to get the two rival governments talking to each other. After the first day of discussions, uh, the UN uh, envoy for Libya said a peace deal is possible between warring factions in the North African nation. I have met uh, uh, most of the delegations uh, and most of the actors and stakeholders. So far I can tell you that uh, uh, there is a sense of, uh, if not optimism, at least a sense that it is possible to make a deal. And this is something very important because uh, in the last months, this was not the case. In three previous rounds of talks, the two sides did not meet face to face. A delegate at the talks also said he sensed a desire by the participants to make the necessary decisions to move toward a unified government. The delegates are here to find a radical solution. There is a desire to form a national unity government. You think this dialogue will end with the naming of a new head of a national unity government? Yes, I expect that. The talks are taking place as Libya seeks to have the UN Security Council ease or lift the arms embargo to allow it to meet the growing threat from Islamic militants who have already seized major oil fields. Libya has been increasingly unstable since longtime dictator Muammar Gaddafi was overthrown and killed in 2011.